Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Big Easy Busking. This is a game for one to five players. It's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is 45 minutes. So this is a musically themed game where you've got band members, and you're going to be playing songs to these various crowd cards in order to score money. Money is points in this game, and whoever has the most money at the end of the game will win. To set up the game, each player gets one of these band cards. Each band card has three band members on them. There's a trumpet player, there's a drums player, and a saxophone player. Each player is going to choose a color of a particular cube color, and you're going to put four cubes on each band member, with three going into your reserve. Each player also starts with three money. Uh, there's some money up here in one, fives, and tens. Um, each player also gets a hand of unique cards. Um, they're color-coded. I have the teal, blue, light blue, whatever that is. And then she's got, I guess, purple over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we each have starter cards. Now, we can get more cards from the market. And as far as setting this up, uh, what you're going to do is there's three, there's, there's two rows, three cards per row. These are public cards. No player will actually own these, but you can use them to temporarily, I guess, rent them. These are songs that you can rent, as I call it, and then you can play them onto these crowd spaces up here, but you never actually keep them. So these three cards will always be available to us in the event that the cards we have in our hand just don't suit us. There is a market, I believe it's called the Melody Market, and these are songs on the very top row here that you can actually uh, learn and add to your hand and they are unique to you. So this top row are things that we can buy and put into our hand. The bottom row is a public pool that we can use on occasion. Um, the downside to using the public pool is that there's these little one chip tokens on them and in addition to paying the cost of actually using the card um, you can actually see the costs here this would cost one saxophone one drum one or two trumpet uh, one one sax zero drum two trumpet and in addition to that you'd also pay either one buck or an additional energy of your choice to actually use this um, so these cards are a bit more expensive to use I'm sort of getting ahead of myself but that's what you would do here. You'd shuffle up these cards, and you would deal three out to the, uh, the Melody Market, the ones that you can buy. There's also special ability cards. These ability cards have a little ability on the very bottom. There's like six in the box. You're going to shuffle them up and choose one of them at random, and you're going to put it out. And you're also going to take two from here to fill in the remaining two. So again, uh, you're going to have a random uh, ability here and then two uh, cards from the deck to fill out this public pool. Okay? Um, you're also going to shuffle this crowd area here, these crowd cards, and I'll show you one of them close up. Um, the top left-hand corner is the amount of money someone gets at the end of the round if they have majority on this card. This is, um, if you happen to have enough cubes on this card to meet this quota, you get this much money at the end of the round. So you can earn money in two different ways on these cards. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing uh, songs to try and get our cubes onto these cards to both get majority and to at least meet the quota there uh, in order to, to get money for the end of the round. The game plays, takes place over three rounds. As far as how a typical round plays out, there are three phases to a player's turn. The first one is finish playing a song. Now, in the very beginning of the game, we're not going to have any songs out here, so you're going to skip that one. I'll come back to it. The second thing you can do is optional is tip. Tip means spend a dollar per cube from, uh, to move a cube from your reserve to add to your uh, card in any way, shape, or form you want. So you can add it to one of the three resources slash instruments that you have, okay? Your band members. Option. The last thing that you do is perform an action, and you can do one of three things. You can learn a song, meaning that you can um, pay one cube from each instrument and put them into your reserve, and then you can uh, learn one of these three songs on the top row and then add them to your hand and then a new one comes out. That's one of the things you can do. The other things that you can do is uh, play a song. And you would either play a card from your hand or a card from here, pay the cost, 
and then put them, uh, put it on one of these uh, crowd uh, cards, and then you would put your cubes on it that you would spend. So for example, uh, let me just take this as an example. Uh, and these symbols do matter, and I'll get to that in a minute. But let's just say I wanted to put, um, I want to play a song on this bottom venue here. Uh, I would pay one saxophone, I would pay two drums, and one trumpet, okay? And that will stay there until the beginning of my next turn, which is finish playing a song. I told you I skipped that and I'd come back to it. That is another thing that you can do on your turn. The other thing you can do on your turn is uh, during step three is pass. If you happen to pass, that's it. If both players pass or all players pass, that will signal the end of the round. And again, the game takes place over three rounds. So getting back to the first step of your turn, finish playing a song. If you have a song out here that um, you know it, it needs finished, you, what you would do is you would take a look first and see if the symbols match. In the beginning of the game, you're going to deal three of these cards out, these crowd cards. In addition, you're going to shuffle these mood tokens, and you're going to put one of these mood tokens onto each of these cards. One of two things is going to happen. If this symbol does not match the mood, you would just simply transfer all of your cubes over from that song over to that venue. This goes into your discard pile. That's it. However, if the mood does match, you have a couple of options. You can move all of the cubes over. You get an additional bonus dollar for doing that, and then this goes into your discard pile. Or you can split up the cubes and then take some back. So I could maybe put three on this card, I can take this remaining cube, and then I can uh, distribute that onto my band members as I see fit. So you'll have more options if you happen to get these symbols to match. There are four symbols in the game. There's this, I think that's like party or something. Um, there's this little thief looking thing. There's a heart symbol and this little king symbol. That's a wild. Um, so if, like there's a wild token here. So no matter what mood we use for this, it'll always match. Okay, and there's some songs have a wild on it as well. All right. That's the gist of the game, and then we'll be playing this over three rounds, and then whoever has the most money at the end of the game wins. Um, I may have skipped over one or two things. There's also um, a solo game variant in the back of the manual, solo setup, solo scoring. Um, there's a look at the box insert. These are the cubes that we're not using because they belong to other players that aren't in the game. Um, these are the other starter cards that would belong to the other players that aren't in the game. There are, I believe, robot cards in here. Plenty of baggies, which is always a good thing. There's a couple of guide cards. The uh, following robot, threshold robot, moody robot, uh, solo scaling difficulty instructions, and these are the player mats that we're not using. So there are robot cards in here for solo play, should you want to do that, and I'll let you guys discover that on your own. All right, and I think that is the gist of it. So let's go ahead and get the game started. Would you like to go first? No. Of course. <laughs> okay, so in that case, I will go first. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. Do I have any unfinished songs? The answer is no. Would, you, would I like to tip? No. So now I'm going to move on to the last part of my turn, which is take an action. I can possibly get one of these three cards here. I can maybe play a card from my hand immediately and maybe go after, you know, one of these venues immediately. Um, what I may do is I might maybe buy one of these cards from the market. These are my starting cards. I've got this party, romance, and whatever that one was. Um, I, my memory is terrible. Um, so I may want a wild just to help me fill out my hand a bit more. So I'm going to pay one cube of each type to put into my reserve. And again, like, these can come back if, you, if you're willing to spend money. But keep in mind, the person with the most money at the end of the game is the winner. So you're giving up victory points, so to speak, to use more actions or to get more energy. I'm just going to go ahead and buy, um, I'm going to go ahead and buy, I guess, this one. It's a 1-2-2. Two, two. It's a 2-1-2, two, two, so it really doesn't matter. So this would go to my hand. And we'll just draw a new card to replace that. That's counted as a wild? Yes. Wait. These are wild. See the, see the little 
crown in the upper right hand corner. So they can go and match moods. Correct. They could, so what is this one? That's a wild as well. So you could put oh. any symbol that you want there and it would work. Oh. Any mood. Interesting. All right. So that ends my turn. It is now your turn. Okay. So you have no song to finish. Skip. Would you wish to tip? No. No. Skip that. And then now you take an action. You can mm. buy a card from here by paying one cube each. You can play a card from your hand or play a card from here, paying an extra cost to do so, to play a song under one of these venues. Or you can pass, which I would not recommend. Yeah. Um, I'll play a song. Oh, um, Make can sure. you finish a song like at any time, at any point, or does it have to it, be It's good? finished on the next turn. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, so it's probably better to set up then. It's up to you. I mean, think of it though, I mean... There's also this ability that'll kick in, like you can rent from here. Earn one dollar for every crown card that currently has your energy tokens. Meaning that, let's say that at a, at a future date I use this mm -hmm. to play a song here. During my first part of my turn, if I had energy cubes here and energy cubes here, I would earn a dollar for every crowd card that can concurrently contains my... So I would get extra money for having other cubes on these cards. That's just the ability for that. Yeah. Again, there's more in the box that we're not using. I see. Okay. I think I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a card. I'm gonna do what yeah. you did. Alright. Gonna... So it's one cube each from each person. Yeah. And that would go into your reserve. And you can pick one of these three <laughs> cards. Alright, that has two oh. symbols on it. Yeah. Yep. Alright. All right, now it's my turn. Uh, do I want to finish playing a song? Can't do it. Do I want to tip? Nah. Uh, let's go ahead and play a song then for my action. Let's see what I got. Um, I think I'll do what I did earlier as for my example. So I'm going to pay one saxophone, two drum, one trumpet, and these cymbals match, and that'll be important later on. All right, that ends my turn on you. Okay. I will do... These are guide cards, in case you're curious, and the reason why we have two, they're front and back, just so we don't have to flip them constantly. Uh, this is front, this is back. Okay. I think I'm going to do... <sighs> okay. Um, what am I going to do? So many options. Mm -hmm. And while she's thinking, it's worth mentioning that this is our first time playing. So there may be a rules goof or two uh, as we play this. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just go... So that was a while. You know what? Oh man, it's so hard. I'll go here. Over here for that one? Okay. So it's one, one, one. Yeah. So that would go right on there. Okay. My turn. Okay, finish playing a song. Well, I've got that there. These symbols do match. This symbol and that symbol. So do I want to transfer all of them? Um, probably. Reason being, if she decides to put all three onto this, I would still have four and she would have three, giving me majority on that location. So I will go ahead and transfer all of my cubes onto this. That gives me a bonus dollar. I'm going to go ahead and take a dollar from the pool over here. And this goes into my discard pile. Now I'm going to optionally tip. Do I want to tip to bring some of these back? Uh, again, it's $1 per cube. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Um, I'm looking at my hand. None of these cards require three or more of a particular instrument because I've got two, one, two, and I've got a lot of two, one, yeah. So I'm good. I don't think I need to tip right now. And then now we can do something else. Um, I may go ahead and... Let's see. What symbols need to go out there? I might go for this one. Okay. So I'm going to play this one, which is 220. I, actually, I can't do that because there's not enough drums on that one. Um, what I could do... Hmm. You know what? I'll go ahead. Actually, I'm going to go back to my tip phase. I'm going to spend a dollar to put this cube back on there. And then I'll go ahead and play... 
um, this card onto this venue here. And I need two saxophone and two drum. And that'll end my turn. My turn? Mm -hmm. So I finish a song, right? You finish First. a song, right. Now the question is, these symbols match. Do you want to move all your cubes over, or do you want to take some back and distribute them among other band members? And I get a dollar? Mm. Either way? You get, no, I no, you only get a dollar if you move all of them over. Now keep in mind, there is a threshold of three cubes. So if you move them all over now, that guarantees you three dollars at the end of the round. If you don't move them all over, that $3 is not guaranteed. Yeah. Unless you play another song there in the future. Wow. Hold on, let me think. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. This is tough. This is very tough. I will move them all over. Okay, that gives you a dollar from the bank. Okay. And this goes into your discard pile. Mm-hmm. You finished playing a song. Okay. Now you can tip optionally if you want to. I will tip. Okay. Can I tip two? That would be two bucks, yes. Two bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll tip this and that for two dollars. Okay. Now I play? Yep, yeah, now you take an action. Whether it be a card from your hand, you can buy a card, whatever you want. These are, I think these are like public songs. Common songs, I think they're called. Mm -hmm. There's actual names for these, I just, I butcher. I'm gonna do this here. Ooh, another one, okay. At the same location? Yeah. So zero, one. zero, three, so three, three trumpets. trumpets. Okay. Really fighting for that majority there, I see. Okay. Uh, my turn. Um, wow, I've got. I don't have a whole lot of options here, uh, seeing as how I've got two trumpet energy left. Um, what I could do, actually, before I do anything, I have to finish this song. I'm going to go ahead and actually, I need four cubes here to meet this quota. So I'm going to go ahead and move them all over. I get a bonus buck for doing that. Yes. This goes into my discard pile. Do I want a tip? And I want to try and spend all of my energy cubes if I can. Um, the question is, how am I going to do it? Um, this is a 102, which is a cool thing. There's also 1-1. One, one. What I may do, hmm, I may tip, I may tip for one to move a cube back to my sax so that I can play this card. And then I earn one dollar for every crown card that currently has your energy to, so I'm going to get some money back for playing that common song. Um, the problem, but actually, you know what, I could play that over here because that's why. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'm thinking out loud for the benefit of those watching this, um, like these cards here, not helpful, like 111, 122, I could, I, this heart does not match anything here. Well, actually, I could play it there, hmm, but I kind of like this extra one dollar for a re hmm. You know, hmm. No, I, I think what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll, we'll show off what that looks like. So let's go ahead and tip one here. So that's one buck. And I'm going to then use this common card to play up here. And I have to pay an additional resource or a dollar to do it. Uh, because I need all my resources, I'm just going to pay a dollar. So I'm down to two bucks. But now this card comes up here. I'm going to put that here. And it's a wild, so it doesn't matter what that is. And I'm going to put my two trumpet and one sax on there. And that'll, this ability kicks in then on my next turn. Okay. So that ends my turn. All right. My turn? Mm hmm I'm going to play that up there. Okay. Oh, wait. Now I have to finish a song, right? Yeah, you have to finish a song first, okay. which is this I'm one I'm going to put all of the, those. All of these over? Yeah, and okay. get a dollar. Yeah, you get a dollar for that. This goes into your discard pile. Yep. I'll play that. But Oh, yeah, you bought that one. Over okay. Here. Uh, up here? Yeah. Okay. I'll spend three drums. Three drums and one sax. And one sax. Okay. And it's your turn, right? Yep, my turn. Yeah. All right, so I have to finish a song, which is this up here. I'm going to transfer, I think, all three over. Um, and now this ability kicks in. Earn one dollar for every crowd card that currently has your energy tokens That's on it. $3. I have three dollars because awesome. I've got cubes on every card. So I'm going to take three dollars from the bank. 
And I also get a dollar because um, I move them all over. No, actually, you know what? I don't know if that actually counts with the wild. Um, I think if I had a matching wild, that would work, but... Oh, really? Yeah, that's one thing I need to look up for one second. Okay, so according to the rule book, it says wild matches all moods. So that means that this is a wild, This is so it, it would match anything I play on it. So I would get a yeah. dollar. So then what's the purpose of these... You can put that on any mood that you want to. So it still matches? It, it would still match, correct. Wow, interesting. So if you need more leeway matching something, you, you would play a song on any. Okay. These would play on anything and, and match. Mm -hmm. Whereas these venues, you could play anything on them and they would match. Okay. But I'm going to take a dollar back for matching that mood. Mm -hmm. And this goes into, this comes back here because it was a public one. Yep. And this one flips over to a two, making it more expensive in the future. Mm-hmm. And now I can optionally tip, and then I can uh, do something. Now the question is, uh, what is there anything else I could possibly do? Um, if I were to tip, um, you know, I don't think, unless I'm going for majority here, I don't think there's anything else I would want to do. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to pass. Okay. So now it is your turn, possibly the last one, considering. Mm -hmm. So you're going to finish the song. Do yes. you want to transfer all of them over? I do. Okay, so it matches. You get a dollar. Okay. Um, there's your dollar. This mm -hmm. goes into your discard pile. The tip. Uh, you can tip if you want to. Um, I'm going to tip $3. Three dollars. Okay, get, so you're down to one. Yeah, to get two trumpet and a drum. Okay. Now I'm going to play a song here. Okay. And I will play the two trumpet, the drum, and the saxophone. Okay, look at you. All right. Now, because I passed, um, there's not much I can really do about that. So it goes back to you again. So I finish the song. Yeah, you finish the song. I get a dollar. You get a dollar because the moods match. This goes into your discard pile. Um, you can tip if you want to, and then you can... No. That's it. Okay, so that ends the, the first round of the game. And again, there's three of them, so let's go ahead and take this in order. Pay out the crowd cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at majority and all that stuff. If there's a tie for majority, like in this case, there's four white, four purple. We each get two dollars, mm -hmm. according to that. So we both take two dollars. Mm -hmm. And then, um, did you meet the quota of four? We both did, so we both get five. So yeah, five for you, five for me. Yep. And then these cubes come back to us. Okay. And this token goes back in the box. This goes into a discard pile off to the side there. Do they go in the reserve or do they... Uh, they will eventually get put back oh, here, eventually. but we'll do that later. All right. This card, um, you've got majority, four to three, so you get $4. Okay. And... And I'll put one in return. Yep. And we both have at least two cubes on here, so we can both take $2. Okay. And then these cubes come back to us. This token goes away. This goes into a discard pile. This one, you've got majority on it. You get five dollars. Okay. And we both have enough on here. We meet our quota. It's three dollars each. You said that this game was cutthroat. I can see now, like the cutthroatiness. Yeah. <laughs> these go back to you. This goes away. It's a discard pile. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw three new ones, or four actually. In the second round, four of these come out. That's right. The third round, five come out. All right, so there's that. Uh, we also need new tokens. So there's that, 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 and that. So we've got that mask looking thing for these two, that party one, and that romance one there. Mm -hmm. um, set all standard tokens to one again. Um, each player returns all discard pile in their hand. So your discard pile goes into your hand. Why am I shuffling? You don't need to shuffle. <laughs> I don't know why I'm you, We're used to deck builders. That's probably why. <laughs> um, we put four energy tokens on each band member. Just basically set up like you would if it were the first turn of the game. Yep. The first round. Interesting. Um, draw a moot token to that. Okay. And the player with the most money is now the starting player, uh -huh. uh, which is probably you. I doubt it. Um, I, I'm going to turn in, just to make this easier, I'm going to turn in these ones for five. I've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, 
five, and I'll take another five. Okay, so I've got uh, 15, six, 18. 23. So you're the first player for this round. Okay. So can't finish a song. Tip if you want. You don't have to. And then, yeah. Um, let's see. A lot of planning. I feel like there's a lot of planning in this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I will... Hmm. Mm -hmm. So far you're beating the pants off me. Yeah. Hmm. I am going to, oh man, this is hard. Okay. I feel like having four of these crowd thingies is like throwing me off now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I will, oh man, I got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play a song. Play a song. Yeah. Oh, wait. Do I have to go by turn sequence? So I can't finish a song, do I tip? Do you want to, I asked you, oh. did, you want, did you want to tip at this point or do you want to wait and see what you need later? I would say wait and see. Yeah. You don't, if you tip now, you may put a cube on an instrument that you may not yeah, need. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay, I will do this. All right, so you're gonna put one, one, and one yeah. on here. Sure. So that's three, <laughs> three cubes, one of each. All right, my turn. No, no songs to finish. Not gonna tip. I'm gonna play one, one, one on that. Nice. It is now your turn. Oh my gosh! All right. Finish a song. Oh, I finished that one. Do you want to transfer them all, or do you want to take some back into your hand or into your instruments? Interesting. The quota here is two. Yeah. So in theory, you could transfer two here to meet your quota of one dollar. Or if you think I'm going to fight you a majority, then you may want to transfer them all. You know what? I will transfer them all. Okay. Yeah. So you get a buck, and this goes into your discard pot. Yep. Okay. All right. Now you can tip if you want. If you don't want to tip, then go ahead and take an action. Um, I'm going to take. A, I'm going to perform a song. All right. And I will go. Um. go here. All right. Four, so that's four cubes, drums. one sax and three drums. One sax. Okay. It's your turn. My turn. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That would be okay. Does this stay on two? Or no, these get, these get reset to one at the end oh, of the round. Interesting. Um, I'm going to play a song. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, one. Um, oh, I'm supposed to do that first. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I'm going to transfer them all. Actually, do I want to transfer? Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to, well, no, I'm actually going to transfer one and take the others back. Okay. Um, I'm because I knew I was going to play this. I'm going to put one there and I guess, um, Based on what I've got left, I'll take, I'll put one on. Oh, so I'm going to put them both back on the drum. This goes into my discard pile. Not going to tip, play that, turn over. Okay. I will finish this song. Okay. And Do you want to transfer play... them all? Oh, I transferred, I didn't transfer them all, so I did not get a dollar for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... The quota here is one. It's one, huh? Mm-hmm. With a reward of one dollar at the end of the round, should you meet that quota. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Oh man, this is rough. Mhm. Mm Agreed. This is a lot of bluffing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know about that. It's just, it's a matter of making the most out of your. Like, we're fighting over these venues, basically. We're just okay. trying to figure out who's going to go after what. How much, you know, wh what to put on what, basically. Yeah, all right. I will, okay. I'll get, whatever, I'll do that. <laughs> right, so you get a buck, and this goes into your discard. Yeah. Um, now, whatever. you can tip if you want. 
Um, I will... Assuming you don't need any drums, for example. Yeah. Because you're out of drums. Yeah, you know what? I will tip one dollar here, and I will do... No, I'll, just, I'll do two dollars here. Yeah. Good? Yeah. I already... You already took one off, so you yeah. Mean, you, I I only did two. I only did two for the last. Two. I know, but I put you. I put one back. Yeah, that that was fine. Uh oh. -uh. Because I didn't spend for the drum. You uh -uh. did that for me. Oh uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you 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 did three. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. I thought you did two. No. Okay, and then you can play a chord. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of uh, trumpet. Yeah. Just saying. I know. <laughs> All right. Um. Um, <laughs> contra. All right, I'm gonna do this here. Okay, heart one, one, two. One, one, two. Okay. And it's your turn. My turn. I will play this. At first, I have to do this. I'm gonna transfer all of them mm, nice. here, and I get a buck. Mm -hmm. Discard pile. Do I want to tip? Um, do I need to? The answer is no. And... Hmm. Question is... Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to play this one here. That's two and two sax, two drums, nice. and that'll end my turn. Okay. I will finish this song. Okay. Do you, do you want to transfer them all? Because you, your things match. I will transfer one. Uh, no, I'll transfer two. Two. No, I'll transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I'll transfer two. Okay. And you're going to put two put back. put these back here. All right. You don't get a buck for doing that, but yeah. that's fine. Okay. Um, oh, fudge nuggets. Okay. That's okay. You're, you're doing do... great. I will do. Alright, I'll That's do. That's good, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'll do this one here. Okay. And do three, three trumpets. Three trumpets. Oh my. Yes. Okay. I gotta figure this out. Well, um, I gotta finish this thing. Um, I'm gonna put. Uh... Wow, what you got there? <laughs> Hidden information! I know, I'm thinking. Do I wanna transfer them all? Um, because I could just transfer three and get three bucks out of that. Um, do I need a cube? Probably. I'm going to go ahead and do three, transfer one back into my, uh, one, into my thing. Mm -hmm. So that goes there. And where am I going to put this? I think I'm going to put that on my sax player. Now, do I want to tip? Um, I, I may want to wait on that. Let's see. Well, I have this. I could also... That would be... Wow. Oh, you just finished a song, right? I just finished a song. Okay, now so I'm, now I'm, you're on the tip phase. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play... I'm gonna, first, I'm going to tip $1 mm -hmm. to put this drum there. I'm going to play this over here. And that's a nice. one, two, two. <laughs> and that ends my turn. Nasty, dude. Nasty. Alright, I will... Alright, I will... That good, huh? <laughs> okay. I will finish my song. You're going to finish your song. Now, do you want to transfer them all? Or do you want to transfer only some of them? I'm going to transfer some of them. I'm going to transfer... Uh, two. To the card? In there, yeah. Uh, and then one comes and back to one. you. one. Aw, oh, fudge. What? You still make majority on that. Yeah, my whole plan just got, like, blown up in my face. Oh! Well, it's not set in stone, so if you need to take something back, take something back. Yeah, No, I'm sorry. Um. Wow. Okay. I need a huge boo-boo. 
Yeah. It stinks. You're doing fine. Yeah. Okay. I'll do this one. Okay. I think. Um. No, wait. Oh, crap. Um, wait, hold on. These, you don't have to pay one of each musician, right? You just play it? Or no, you have to pay the cost. In addition to the cost, you also pay one buck one or another I energy see. cube of okay. your choice. All right. All right. Um, okay. All right. So I'll do this. Hmm. I'll do this one. Okay. okay. One dollar. So you're going to pay one dollar to play it, and yeah. then you need one sax and one trumpet. Yeah. And I will play this on here. Okay. One sax and one trumpet. Okay. And I think that is it. Jeez, you're really fighting for that majority on there, huh? <laughs> well... At this point, like... It's rough. It is. I'm trying to think... My brain hurts. <laughs> it, it's... Okay. I feel like I'm going to have a brain in your I'm head. trying to figure out where I'm going to fight you. Those are your discards, right? Uh, yeah. I'm just looking at them oh, to see what I have. Oh. That's all. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I was just curious. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, at this point... So I have to finish this, but the question is, I could play, I, what I could do is, I could, pl I'm going to do this. You're going to beat me on that anyway. So what I could do is I could put one there to meet the quota and then take the rest back for something else. Mm -hmm. Um... Hmm. The question is what? Because at the moment, these aren't helpful at all. Um. Wow. Okay. Um. Here's what I'm gonna do. I I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something a little weird. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> indeed. I'm going to play, I'm going to play four of them there, and then I'm going to take one back, and I'm going to put that on my sax. I know what you're going to do. Oh, if you say so. I, do, I know. So I this goes into my discard. I would have done the same thing. I'm going to tip $2 <laughs> to move these over to the sax or to the trumpet oh, no. now i'm going to play this song pay another dollar to do that at this location very good you're so smart and then it's two trumpet one sax wow that was so smart and i mean i lost a little bit of money doing that but no, that we'll good. see how that plays out and you earn money too. Yeah, that's. I was wow. hoping to get money back from this ability. That was great. So I'm done. Whoa, bro. 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 You don't even know. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right, so I will finish the song now. Can I take back people from the crowd? N no, you may not. <laughs> <laughs> Only from the card. Dang. All right. Um. All right. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. We think. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So. <laughs> so stupid. You've got two <laughs> energy on drums, and no yeah. song needs drums. I know. I wanted this card, man. And what I was thinking too is just take these back, and go then, like this, and, and then purchase buy. something that will like bring me up here. 
Yeah. But I need to pay one of each block to purchase the salt right. here. So I'll just take the dollar. It's All fine. Right. So you're going to take the dollar? Yeah. There you go. Dang. Here's funny. your discard. Yep. Dang. I wasted two dollars. Now you can tip and then you can play. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Or pass. All right. I will tip. Um, my hardworking one's already here, so yeah. I will tip for, like all my money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I guess I have to pass. So I have nothing well, there's nothing that you can do for two yeah. drum. All right. In that case, I will play these three here. Nice, dude. I get one dollar for every crowd card that currently has your energy token. That's all four. Wow. So I'm gonna take four money. Plus the one because you. Plus answer. the one, right? Because I did them all. Mm -hmm. um, so this goes back into my discard pile. Actually, no. This goes here, mm -hmm. and this goes to two. Oh, and this one should have gone here, right? Oh, yeah, you use the right, public that's card. Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. that's right so now I can tip, which I have no reserve, and I can play. I'm gonna pass. That's crazy. So that's it. That ends the round. So now let's go ahead and observe all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got three there. I've met my quota. I have got three dollars, mm -hmm. and I have majority there, so I get another three dollars. Nice. All right, these go back to me. Yeah, it hurts. This hurts. <laughs> It does hurt. It does. And then this is gone. This one, you've got majority, $2. Big deal. Plus the ones so that's Plus, three, right? Yeah, you get three. I get one because I met the quota mm -hmm. of $1. Nice. The cubes go back to you. This heart goes away. This goes into a discard pile. Um, you've got majority here. You get $4. We both met the quota, so we both get two. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, one. I meant one dollar. Okay. So one dollar back. Well, I get the one dollar here, right? You do get the one dollar there. I get one dollar as well, plus mm -hmm. an additional four for having majority. Yep. So I'm gonna make change. Cool. There we go. Interesting, interesting, interesting game. <laughs> All right, and I have to move these down a bit because a lot of cards are coming out next. One. Two, three, four, five. Wow, this is crazy. And then one token for each. What in the world is this cat? Let me see. I think, oh, that might be from, uh, I think that's a, uh, an advanced variant. Oh. <laughs> um, like, what is that? It's a cool cat. It's a cool cat. <laughs> All right, so wild, thief looking mask, heart, heart. Party beads. Very cool. Uh, I guess I'll move these back up. Uh, these go to one. Energy cubes, you get four per band member. Okay. And I'm going to make change so I can easily see what has more money. One, two, three, four, five is five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Sesame Street is in grain into our brains. All right, five more. All right, and I'll do another, I'll just do 10. Okay, so I've got 30, 33. Wow, I have 31. 31, so we're like, we're really close to, you know, each other in terms of winning. All right, so these go back into our hands. Did I miss anything? Uh, standard tokens are at one. Yep, yep, yep. I think we're good. Okay, so I go first this time. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got four song cards, and the question is, how am I going to spend these suckers? Mm -hmm. um, wow. Let's do... I don't know, I kind of like this over here. Heart, and then one, 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 just to get started. Nice. The threshold is three, so it's actually good for me. Okay. I'm gonna spend one, one, one to purchase this one here. Ooh, look at you buying stuff. And uh, yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. All right, to finish a card. I'm gonna transfer all of these over. This card pile. I get a dollar because the, the items matched. This, the moods matched. Um, now I can tip if I want. Not gonna. And now I can play a song if I want. Uh, the question is, do I? What am I going to do? 
Goodness gracious. That's right. Um, I kind of like this one over here. I'm going to play two sax and two drums. Yes. Um, I will do... Finish a song, if you can. Not. Nope. Tip. Optional. Wait, are you missing stuff? This is your reserve, right? Yeah. Okay. That's my reserve. I'll do one, two, three, to buy this one here. Look at all these songs. Okay, I'm gonna just move these up a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm gonna finish a song. I'm you gonna... have to redo, redo, redo that thing. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna finish a song, put all these over there. This goes into a discard pile. I get a dollar because the yeah. item's matched or the mood's matched. Mm -hmm. And I can tip. Let's see if I should or shouldn't. Um, you're stalling. <laughs> You no, want to see you you want to see where I'm going so you know where I, to where to be. I I know you. No idea what you're competitive over here. <laughs> Not at all. Um, I yeah. Well, um, I I think I will. Hmm. I would get that back at the end of the game by doing that. Options are a little limited right now. Um, this thief looking thing is interesting. No. Um, I'm going to play, uh, first I'm going to tip a dollar to get a reserve onto my drum. Then I'm going to play, what was I doing? Not that one. Um, I lost all my train of thought. <laughs> um, I think I was going to play this wild on this up here. Well, yeah, I'm going to play this wild here, of a wild song, and it's one, two, two, and that ends my turn. Okay. All right. I will. Um, I will tip. You're gonna tip. I will tip. What the hell am I gonna tip? <laughs> <laughs> um. You know what? I will not tip. Okay. You got plenty of cubes. Yeah. I will not tip. I'm going. I'm going to do this. Um, but then if I do that, dang, then I think you did it. Okay. This is the last round. Just yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm no, gonna, I'm just letting you know. I'm going to do that and do one, one of each. One, one, one. Makes sense. Okay. All right. Um, and that's it. All right. My turn. I'm going to the symbols match, but I'm going to transfer, uh, if I transfer three, let's see what I would, let's see what I would do next, first of all. Let's see what I would do next. This is, okay, I, I could do that, actually. Um, so, I would need that that and then that but then I would not meet my quota of three to do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer some back this goes discard um, now I'm going to tip a dollar to put hmm you know what Mm. That's what I said. Yeah, that isn't helpful. I need to move things around, I think. Um, or stall for time, one of the two. So, what I'd like to do... 
Oh, man. Did I just mess up there? I hope not. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to play that there. I'm going to tip first a dollar to put that there. Just the one. And I'm going to go one, two, one nice. there. All right. And it is your turn. Um, so you're going to transfer all or just some of them? The, the moods match, so mm -hmm. you can do one or the other. I will transfer one there. You're going to transfer one? Yeah. And I'll take two back. Two back. This goes into your discard pile. Two here. Okay. And I will play um... Oh wait. Oh yeah. Bring that bring that there. Okay. And I'm going to tip I don't want to tip yet. Okay, so You've got a lot of energy. I'm gonna cubes. do this one here. Alright, one, one, two. Yeah, one, one, two. So one, one, two. Mm -hmm. there. Okay. Cool. Well, I've got these left. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with my remaining stuffs. Um I could just transfer one. Or if I transfer two, that would guarantee me... Well, it's assuming you don't go here in the future to outdo me again. If I did that... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer two over to get majority on that. And the two I'm going to bring back, I'm going to put on the trumpet space. Nice. And this goes into my discard pile. I'm going to tip... Um, I'm going to tip a dollar to bring that in. And now for my turn, I'm going to pay another buck yes. to play a song, because I need to pay for that. And this is a mask, so I need to figure out um, where you might be trying to outdo me in the future. You know, I'm going to come over here, just to uh, one trumpet, two or two trumpet, one sax. Okay. And I'm yeah, that's yes. it. All right, I'm going to. Finish the song. I'm gonna put all my stuff there. You're gonna put them all there. That there gives you a dollar. dollar. Mm -hmm. yep. And I will um, do. Hmm. Well, you've got nine dollars of cubes in your reserve. That's interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I can. I have to tip now, right? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, I am gonna tip. I'm gonna tip five. Five dollars for so, five for five. Yeah, so it it is gonna be three drum, one trumpet, and um, one saxophone. I meant and okay, another drum. Cool. I think I did that right. I hope I did that right. I think you did. Okay. Um, okay. And now I'm going to do the, uh, fudge, what was I going to do? It's a good yeah. question. Yeah. I'll do the three, oh crap, nuggets, I can't do that, porque if I do that, I'm going to go Sorry. Contra. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. I'll do the, I'll do the, I'll do the, I'll do the, oh, uh -huh. I'll do the three there, three drums, and that's it. Interesting. Hmm. In that case, um, first I have to finish a song. The question is, I have to place at least one here. The other two. I could bring back and maybe do something else with them. Am I gonna? Um, if I were, I only have enough cubes for the one mask card. So is it worth it for me to take them back? I don't know. I may just... Hmm. 
what would I... Now, I may just cut my losses at this point. Um, I, I, I could do one of two things. I could take these two back and then play this in the future to put them onto this area to just refirm it. But that would be an extra dollar for me to do, and I'd have to... Yeah, so... Yeah, and this is only a two dollar majority, so I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna transfer them all to get that dollar. Plus this ability, earn one dollar for every crowd card. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna take five and then make change dollar. This comes back here. This ups to two, and that's it. Okay. And I'm out of cubes. I'm gonna pass my next turn because I have nothing left. Okay. You uh, do you want to transfer them all or just some of them? transfer one and bring back two. Okay. Discard. Yeah. Which is... Yeah. That's smart. You got majority on with one cube. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. And I'll do... I'll do it with the two trumpets here. Okay. Moving stuff around. Um, so you can tip if you want. Yeah, I'm going to tip. No, I don't want to take that. Do I want to take it? Hold on. Hold on. Take it. Take your time. Oh, it's too much time to be taken. Alright. Um. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm sure you do. I'm going to do... Do... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do... See, here's the problem. Oh, okay. Alright, I got it. I'm gonna do three here. Alright, so three trumpet. Yeah. Alright, and you might as well go again. Finish your song. Alright, I gotta finish it. Get a dollar. Get a dollar. I'm gonna tip. Um, wait, what do I want to tip? Hold on. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use this over here. Alright, so one drum, one trumpet. Yep. Oh shit, I should have tipped. Right here, sorry. Mm -hmm. I keep mixing my saxophones and trumpets. That's right. Alright, so one drum. They're both brass instruments. One trumpet there. Okay. Then right. I'm gonna transfer them all over. Yeah, your turn again. Get a dollar. Oh, where are you gonna transfer them? Oh, no, you can't transfer them all. I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm uh, okay. down here, my bad. Gotcha, okay. So get a dollar. Yep. And then I'm going to... Crap. Oh, I just don't have enough cues, bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to spend... Your guys are going to need some 24-hour uh, energy drinks <laughs> after you're done with them. $3 to, to, to tip those. To tip these. And I'm going to put these... I'm going to make change for you. Alright. Here... Okay. Okay. That stinks. Oh, that hurts. Could you not eat the card? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I was not. I was hungry. <laughs> I was really hungry. Okay. So do we get the three cards there? Do we get the four dollars there? Yeah, that stinks, bro. Okay. All right. Hold on. I have to tip these. She's calculating, folks. It hurts. <laughs> All right, I'll do this then. You've got four energy cubes left. Yeah. But don't forget, you've got a market here in case you need to use that. I feel like crying. <laughs> like, I, I need more cubes. Crap. All right. Um, all right, I, I'll do this then. <laughs> what 
No, I don't want to do that. But if I don't, it's a flat box. Sorry, sorry, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> this hurts. Hold on. <laughs> Where the heck am I putting these? You know what? Forget it. What do you have? I'll, I'll just help do you. that. No, I'll just do that. Put them all here, and then I'll transfer them all over here and get the one dollar. Okay. <laughs> this card there. All right. So you're done, right? Yeah. Um. Okay. I feel like that was a bad move. <laughs> no. All right. So let's take a look and see each one. You got majority. You get four dollars. And around. Uh, so take four dollars. <laughs> I'm like You're just zoned out. I'm calculating. All right, I get two dollars, you get two dollars. I'm not even playing competitively, I'm just trying to play smartly for my own benefit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like whatever. I didn't say whatever, I just said hmm. <laughs> um, okay. Um, you've got majority here, you get three dollars. One, two, three. Uh, we each get a dollar. Um, I have majority plus the three. Okay, so I get two dollars. So I get four dollars. So I'm just gonna take five and put one back. This one, you didn't make that quota, but you did make three dollars from that. Interesting. This is your cube. Yeah. I don't know either. And lastly, I've got one, two, three, I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we tied. Yeah. We both get five bucks. Yeah, we and both we both three. made three for the quota. I had to catch up somehow. All right, so I'm gonna take five. I wanna make some change here. Plus another five is 10. And I ended the game with exactly 50. What did you get? Oh, um. 10, that's 10. Do you have 20 worth of ones? 3 for 5, 10, 15, 7. You have seven, 17. 47. 10, 20, 30. So Wait, you have, I have 47? No, I don't. I have 37. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47. 47. Yeah. Yeah. You so said, I thought you said 57. I said 47. I'll have that. I'm so 50 to 47. What did you think? This was hard. It was hard. What do you mean? There's hard? a lot of math involved. I was not expecting that much math. What do you mean by math? Like, like calculating, like a lot of subtracting, a lot of adding to the, uh, these numbers here, like how much they would calculate up to, how much you have to calculate on, on how many guys you have to bring back. Mm -hmm. It was just so much. It was uh, <laughs> it was an exercise and uh, it was definitely resource management at its best. Like, I was constantly in my head going, okay, mm -hmm. what am I going to play next? And then after that, what am I going to play? Then after that, what am I going to play? Because I needed to, and then how much am I going to transfer to the card? Because they match, the symbols match, the moods match. How much am I going to transfer to the card? And Because you could transfer some and then transfer the rest back, and then the way you transferred your cubes back would help you play those other cards in your hand. Like, let's say you needed drums, but you didn't have enough drums. Well, you could play a different card, transfer some to the card, and then transfer the rest back to your drums so you could play the card that you wanted to. So, like, there's a bit of um, micromanagement involved, and, and I don't know. I, I, I liked it. I liked that aspect of it. Um, it's a very colorful game. Like, I love I, the colors. You like, see, I preferred uh, Dreams of Tomorrow's colors over this. Why? They're the same. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. This is more like a... a Parrot. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm on a Tropic and, Isle, a Tropic and Island. I mean, I know, I know it's... New Orleans. <laughs> I know it's New Orleans. It's, it's you know, the oh. big easy busking. I get that. Um, it's the sign... It's the it's color... It's just not your preferred color. No, color. it's not. My... I, I like Dreams of... Tom like... You Dreams like the of pastel like stuff, right? I get well. I like the contrast, like the really dark reds and the blacks and the blues and the con the contrasting 
the Dreams of Tomorrow had um, contrasting colors like blue, blue and black, and red. It, I just, I don't know. I just, it seemed to like mesh well. I'm not an art art person by any means, so I don't know what the official term is. But I, I just know that I like Dreams of Tomorrow's art and the colors better than this. This felt more like a, a 70s, 80s. <laughs> You know, like it's very carnival. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm watching an episode of Full House. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's but a, the way they, you know, the, in the '90s clothes, the I don't know. It's just I just. Well, I mean, these are carnival colors. Not everyone's gonna like them. I think. Yeah. Like, these are peacock parrot. Um, loud. They're very loud. loud mm. Yeah. So I I didn't like uh, the art. Don't get me wrong. The art is good. Um, like just just the venues, the, you know, the way they look and. Um, the way the cards look, like the art is fine, and and the colors are fine. I'm just saying I preferred mm -hmm. the color scheme of Dream of Tomorrow better than this, because I know we were talking about that in yeah. the other video that I did. Um, and the components are good, like these tokens are thick. You can actually kind of see mm -hmm. there. So there's that. Um, and again, there's other ways to play in the back of the rule book. There's the Mardi Gras variant, there's the deluxe edition, uh, adds in custom meeples, but you have to buy that. Uh, you can order it. Um, so yeah, there's other ways to play, and there's also that solo variant. So there's other, you'll, you'll get more play time out of this outside of the core game, which is nice. Um, what did you think of like the flow of play, besides the math? Like, did you find the game hard to play in terms of, like, taking turns and... I'll, I'll put it like this. This is not my type of game. I, like... This, to me, wasn't as casual as I like my games usually to be. But as a really strategic part of me, I kind of really do like it. And mm -hmm. I think other strategic players would really, really like this. It, it falls under that category... The turns are simple, mm -hmm. where you've only got three things that you're doing. Finish a song, tip if you want, play, take an action. Mm -hmm. That's all you're doing. But again, you're calculating, okay, I could put these three here, take one back there, then play this cube, this cube, and then play that over here. Oh, I got majority on that, but she might try and outdo me later. Uh, so there's a little bit of bluffing, but there's a lot of chess-like yeah. thinking ahead trying to figure out i i want to make the quota on all the cards maybe or just give up on that and focus on these two and try and get majority because they give more more money and then there's these abilities down here o oftentimes i was tipping i generally don't like doing that i don't like giving up victory points to mm -hmm. to to get an extra advantage but like when i saw this i'm like well i can tip one or two and then i can get three or four bucks back and, and yeah. make it so like i'm not losing anything by doing that so um i wanted to use it, i just never had enough cubes i think that was my only gripe with the game i wish there was a way to get even more cubes i think you bought i was surprised you bought two cards at the end of the at the third round i'm like i would have yeah. I was worried that you didn't wouldn't have enough capital at the end, like enough energy at the end of the at end of the game, to actually play one of those cards from it, your hand. It probably did hurt me, but I bought them that had like little bits just so I can like push myself over the edge if I needed to. Mm -hmm. But again, I mean, I used up all my cards, sure, but I didn't have enough cubes, and I really wanted to use <laughs> these too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whereas I used all of my cards almost every turn. I had yeah. no cards left. I I always used from the market because I didn't have enough left. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of like you, you really have to micromanage what you've got, your assets. Like you need to be efficient, like 100% efficient in this game. I, the first round, like I didn't know what I was doing, and I had two cubes in my reserve. Had I known what I know now, I would have like maybe taken a cube or two back to play those other two somewhere else, so that I could. Because you you pulled ahead in the beginning of the game because of that. Mm -hmm. You used all your cubes. I did not. So had I known that then I probably would have been more efficient on the first round than I could have been. Mm -hmm. But I hopefully made up for that in the second and third round, mm -hmm. which it looks like I did. Yeah, you did. So very smart. But yeah, I mean, it, that's a, like this game is easy to play, but it has a high efficiency requirement in order to, you know, beat your com competition. Because it, again, it's very cutthroat. It's got that, um, what was the game? Las Vegas or whatever, where, you know, you, you're fighting for control over cards. Um, so it's similar to that um, in that sense. So I don't know. It's like easy to play, cutthroat and competitive, and you need to be efficient because of that. Um, it's not going to appeal to everyone because of that. Like when I think family friendly, 
I'm think I'm thinking this would appeal more to a group of adults that are more mature. Could you could you imagine kids yeah. trying to play this and then they get mad because there's too many strate strategic ways that you can do things, and I think little kids might be like. Well, A, some kids may not want to think that hard, and yeah. B, some might get mad that, oh, I just put two cubes there, and now you beat me by putting yeah. three cubes there. Like, that competitive nature will sometimes bring out the worst in kids. Yeah. So while the box does say ages eight and up, I would recommend parental supervision mm -hmm. on this one. Dreams of Tomorrow is a bit more laid back and casual, mm -hmm. more family friendly in my opinion, because you're not really hurting anyone else, not really. Um, whereas in this game, you're constantly fighting for control. It's an area control game. Mm. So there's going to be more, more competition, more cutthroat uh, behavior, and because of that, more tempers flaring, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. But so you prefer the Dream one? I, well, they're different games. Yeah. I, I, would pref I would say Dreams of Tomorrow is better family-friendly and better for kids than this one. Mm. I think this game, and because of the art and the theme and everything else, um, I think kids would enjoy the colors. Oh, yeah, the colors, yeah, absolutely. Like, this is a game that would, again, grab you from another part of the room, like Dreams of Tomorrow did. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong on that. I just think that with the cutthroat nature of the game, not everyone is going to enjoy it. Uh, there are people out there that prefer playing games like Alhambra, because in Alhambra, you only worry about your little corner of the world, and no one can mess with it. Mm -hmm. Whereas in this game... Everything is a shared board, so like you're throwing stuff on it and you're worried about people kicking you off. It's a, you know, some people may not like that. So I think this game is a bit more, I don't know, like niche defining than other games I've played. Yeah. Not a bad game. I'm not saying this is bad. I'm just saying just be warned there's a bit of cutthroat behavior here. Um, but yeah, other than that, did you, any complaints or any other comments that you want to make? Um... I normally don't like money games, like any games that involve money, because I just I hate the whole bidding thing, and just when there's too much thinking going on, I mm. don't like it, <laughs> like linear stuff. You mean like thinking ahead? <laughs> yeah, like chess? thinking, thinking think ahead and like trying to calculate. I normally don't like that, but I liked it in here because it was pretty straightforward. I like the whole matching thing. I like the cards, mm -hmm. but it just falls into a meh area, just like the dreams one. Like, mm -hmm. it's, they're both the same to me. <laughs> this, is a, this is a game where I'm glad it was only 45 minutes. Had this been longer, there would have been some mental fatigue going on at some point. Because, again, with all the calculating and the cutthroat behavior and all that, like, yeah. I can see people getting tired toward, uh, you know, if this game were an hour and a half long with other mechanics, yeah. um, this would tax my brain to the point where... And you know me, I like games that's, like, more. I want yeah, you want more of it. You want dice, you want everything. Yeah, and... I have to say, like, this is fine. It's, yeah. It needs dice, obviously. Oh, but, my God. But. Dice. No. But it was a fun game for what it is. No game. <laughs> not all games need dice. Get over it. Every game needs no, dice. No. Chess needs dice. Dice, no. <laughs> Chess does not need dice. Wrong. Tic-tac-toe does not need <laughs> dice. Most Scrabble needs dice. Scrabble <laughs> needs dice. Yes. Okay. Oh, my head hurts. So that was the big, easy busking. I get, it gets a thumbs up from me. Just be warned that, you know, there's a bit more competition in here than, uh, you know, so just if you're a parent and you're buying this for a family-friendly night, make sure you're there with your kids. Or if your kids are competitive in nature, just be warned that, you know, there is a bit of area control fighting going on here. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.